Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, so uh, today's episode is about showings where they're appointment by owner. Right. And uh, this is a little known secret. So this is sort of like the insider information. Real estate agents probably don't won't tell you this, but this is why these are reasons you should never, ever, ever make your listing appointment with the owner only. Like you can't see it unless the owner's there. This is actually not good for you if you're the owner. Right. So get, let's start with reason number one. What's reason number one? Reason number one, if I'm a buyer and I'm walking into your home, um, I'm going to be very uncomfortable looking around and talking freely with my significant other about what I think about the home. So the number one reason is it inhibits people from really seeing the home, seeing themselves in the home because they see themselves as visitors in the home. They can't see themselves as owning the home. Okay, this is really important. I want you to think about this if you're thinking about doing this. It's hard enough for a buyer to walk into another person's house. I mean, it's uncomfortable. And part of buying a house is emotion, how you feel when you walk in. And if you that person is there mm -hmm. and you don't know them and you come in their house, you feel uncomfortable. Right. And if the, all you remember is, you know, I kind of like the house, but I felt uncomfortable, you don't want to put an offer on it. Right. It's hard enough. Get out of the house. Okay? You don't need to be there. You know, the appointment owner thing is you should have an electronic lockbox and do that. Okay, so that's the first reason why. It makes the buyer uncomfortable. What's reason number two? Okay, as a buyer, I like opening the kitchen cupboards and seeing the lazy Susan in the corner, and I like opening the master closet and envisioning my stuff in there. Uh, and of course, if the owner's there, I would I would never open somebody's closet or cupboards if they're there. That's completely rude. So yeah. it it really inhibits how I experience the home and whether or not uh, I really am able to evaluate the features of the home. Okay, so you want it, so you feel uncomfortable. And it changes the experience. Absolutely. What's, what's the third reason? Um, you know, it's very difficult to communicate with your partner, with your agent, what you really think about the home when the homeowner's right there. We, you can't say things like, oh my God, I can't believe that, blah, blah. You know, whatever is, is, is that, that OMG moment. Uh, you can't have honest dialogue about the home. And the agent, the buyer's agent can't help them. It can't, set, can't help them overcome objections because those objections are never verbalized. So the buyer's agent never has the opportunity to overcome those objections. So a lot of times the two agents have a conversation in the house. The agent, agent, and the, um, their client. That's right. They don't do that. They leave your house, and if they're leaving your house, they're spending less time in it. it they have less time to think about what their life would be like in the house, right. to uh, talk about, hey, how does this compare, all that stuff. They just don't do it. Um, so here's the final one. Okay, so I want to let you answer this. Buyers coming in from out of town, they only have three hours to see houses are going to get on a plane and go back. You have picked five houses, and to the last minute, the sixth house pops up, and it's appointment with the owner or the agent, like the agent has to be there, but no one could be available during that time because they're at work or the agent's not available. So what happens? The house doesn't get shown and that may have been the perfect house for that perfect buyer who's paying cash and closing in two weeks. Okay, so you are going to miss people. There are agents who will not show them appointment owner because they don't want to deal with the hassle and if they've already got to see six or seven, they're not going to add another one. So you're going to miss out on people. There's no good reason for doing it. I know why people do it. They don't want people in their sacred space without them being there because they're afraid that they'll do something or they're afraid of theft. Mm -hmm. So the first one is you just have to get over it. Right. People are going to come in your house. They're trying to figure out if they want to live there. They're going to buy it from you. You're going to move your stuff out. It's not going to be your place anymore. Remember, it is no longer your home. It is now a house that you are selling. You are moving to a new home, but you are selling a house. You're not selling your home anymore. And if you're afraid about valuables, things like that, Make sure your agent has the timer set so they can only get in from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. They can't get in and come in at 2 a.m. and do that. And then if you're still worried about someone taking a key, et cetera, et cetera, and then you know, coming in at 2 a.m., making a copy or whatever, just get your valuables out of the house. Um, you, know, it's, uh, you, you shouldn't be having things that somebody could just walk in and open a door and go, oh, some jewelry, I'll just put it in my pocket and walk out shouldn't have that if you're going to have your house for sale. You're going to be moving anyway. Get that stuff into a safety deposit box. But really, 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 I don't have statistics, but I'm pretty sure appointment by owner homes sell for less than homes that have easier access. Right.
So make sure if you have cash, jewelry, weapons, or medication, put them away. Do not leave them out where they're readily available for someone to uh, peruse in any way. And if you're an agent, you're going on a listing appointment, you need to tell all this to the, to the seller. It's Absolutely. the right thing to do. All right. Um, just so you know, I won't take a listing if I have to be there because I already see other problems starting to happen. It's a bad policy. If the, eight, if the client says you have to be here, I just say, hey, I'm going to pass. Right? I think that's the right thing to do. It is. You know, if, if they're really, if the issues are that significant, then there are probably other issues that are not being discussed. Right. So uh, that, that, that may be something that you have to resolve first before you get your house listed. All right. That is my update for today. Hope to see you on another video. Thanks.